Welcome to Tea Priestess. I hope y'all are doing lovely and feeling amazing. Okay? So listen, this is a Leo reading. And we're going to see what comes out. I feel like this is going to be fun. Let's see. Queen of Cups. So like I said, fun. You're having fun. You're enjoying yourself. You're doing amazing. Ace of Pentacles. It's amazing. It's lit for you, Leo. I've been anticipating this reading. Even though I don't sound like it. The high priestess. The high priestess. Like, I sound like I sound, but I'm, like, chill with it. You got some chill fun. Knight of Pentacles. It's, like, real chill. It could be chilly outside. Like, I just opened the door because I was going to go smoke outside. And it's chilly, so I'm like, nah, I ain't got time for that right now. King of Swords, but I also picked up my outfit already in my head. So I didn't know what I'm wearing, how I'm going to wear it, and all that already, too, at the same time. Page of Swords, and I'm be cute. So you could be seeing somebody randomly, the magician, and you'd be like, huh. It's nice seeing you here, the star, and they're going to be looking at you like, oh my God, it's them. And this could be somebody that you have wanted to see, whoever that could be. This could be somebody that you wanted to see, justice, and need to see, wanted and need to see. And it's like God is just going to make something happen, and you're going to see them. Four of Cups. And you're going to be not thinking about nothing. Like your mind is going to be blank whenever you see this person. And it's just going to come randomly. Nine of Swords. And I feel like this been talked about, this person has been talked about in the a few readings so far. And Three of Wands. It's like, okay. They're feeling ways because they're like, ah, shit, I haven't got back to them. I haven't talked to them. The full card. However, they on the way to talk to you. And so the sun. Okay, the random person and this person could be totally different because this person wants the sun with you. The other person, I don't know. But this relates to a cap cap reading where it's like they all on you. Uh, six of Pentacles, and it's like this is the time. This is the time for y'all to talk, for y'all to meet up. The Hermit, somebody could hit you up randomly, somebody that you've been thinking about, and they could hit you up randomly. The Wheel of Fortune, and they like, I want it all with you, whatever that means. You got multiple suitors, Queen of Wands. Because you that nigga. Because you're that nigga, you got multiple suitors. You got multiple people coming after you. Seven of Cups. Like, it could be a literal seven or amount to, like, about five people who want you or something. Three, four, four. Because you shooting threes and riding on fours. Judgment. They know that you're real. They know that you're a blessing. They see it. Eight of Wands, and they like, oh yeah, I need to hop on that, cause they thinking at this point now, like, it's like a feeling of like, if I don't do it now, then when when can I do it? And they've been thinking about this. This is going back to the original person, or the the new person. There's two people here, okay, and so one of them is like. I need to hop on this now. That's one person. Okay, and then the second person is like, they're like, they've been thinking, like how I am right now. They've really been thinking 
about like how to approach you, how to go about you, and how to like really like get it right. They want to get it right. There's one person where they're like, okay, I need to hop on this. Like, I need to hit them up. I need to be with them. Because y'all have both been on each other's minds. And one could be for you, somebody who's been on your mind more. Or, okay, you can see that both of y'all have been, yet yeah, on God with the high front at the bottom. Y'all both could see how, and that was just a little help. Like, God gonna give a little help to this situation, whatever that means. Like, how it's like there's gonna be an encounter. Yeah, God is going to give, like, a little help. And that just felt very cancerish to me. You could be a cancer. They could have cancer in their chart somewhere significant. Um, yeah, it's a lot of love out here. And I feel like you're about to understand that greatly. Yeah, from any of these people. And that's on God with the higher font. That's for real on God. Like, yeah. Two of Cups. You can be coming into realizations about a lot of things that God has told you. Like, okay, Three of Cups. I did not know that goes in with this. Like, I was just watching Issa Rae's story or whatever on Instagram. And the chariot, yes. This goes, like... I just realized or found out that Frank Ocean is the, it's like Frank Chilla. And God has been telling me a lot about Frank Ocean and Coachella at the same time. And I had no idea that Frank Ocean was the headliner for Coachella at all until I watched her story. And I'm like, like my mouth opened, like she like, and then the thing is, it goes with how God was telling me with like, Insecure, and I don't know, 713 H-Town, I'm on point though. Like, God was telling me a lot about Insecure lately without going back and watching it, without watching her stories or nothing. Telling me a lot about Issa Rae. And if you just go watch her story like now, I don't know, it'll probably be gone by the time you watch. But like her experience through just watching her story about like Frank Chella is like everything that God has told me. So God is going to give like over the last year and some change. Like God has told me a whole lot about a lot that I'm seeing right now in life. And so I feel like you're about to really see everything unfold and be like, oh wow nine of wands because God wants you to be on point with it and God has you on point so whatever you could be understanding about your life where there could be like some realizations about your life it's like okay like it's okay six of wands like, it's okay because you understand a whole bunch of shit. I'm going to take a smoke break in here. Ace of Wands. Yes, yeah, smoke break is now. Because it's on the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So listen. You could be indulging in things that you like to indulge in. Not like crack cocaine but like, <laughs> like not like that, but like, I mean, if you do that, then you know that's on you, but I'm talking about man-made things, so like, I smoke black and mild, you know, I smoke weed, you know, things like that. This is some champagne, um, so you know, something like that, things like that. You could also be understanding a lot about and see the music behind matches 
you probably needed to take a big break. Take a, a nice deep breath right now. You can see a big um, jump in numbers on like your platforms in a way 1010 where you were not expecting or you're not expecting at all. Like people just come out of nowhere and you're like, oh shit. And this could be returning back to a, a state of what it was before. Like how like I'm on YouTube or whatever, but also have music out. You know, that I've been putting out lately. Take Hasso, if you don't know. T-A-Y-C-A-S-S-O. Um, and you could be doing things a lot differently. Also at the same time with like your art. Or things that you do out here. You could be just alternating a lot of things. But like things in numbers. Hold on. Because the numbers are important. The numbers are important because you've been noticing a lot of things related to numbers. And numbers have really helped you, but also hurt you at the same time. And I just said that real fast and without thinking about it. So a lot of the numbers have been like, you've been thinking very greatly about a lot of the things that you're experiencing through numbers. And so because you have been experiencing a lot of numbers, the numbers have been guiding you, not necessarily hurting you. Yeah, five of pentacles, not necessarily hurting you, but you have been guided by the numbers. King of wands and then the seven of pentacles and eight of pentacles. And I just did more work to get the Eight of Pentacles card. 12-12. Temperance. Yeah, like you're feeling a lot of ways. And you're getting, I just got Eight of Pentacles again. Like you're getting a lot of knowledge related to a lot right now. It's really coming in and coming through in a way that you did not know. Queen of Swords. And the information could just be coming and coming and coming. Like how information is now coming through. Like you could be three, four, four, shooting threes, shooting big threes, and you riding on foes hard. Because you could be getting people like coming towards you that you like, for real? Not like that, but in some cases it is like that. Because you like, what? Like, move on up Curtis Mayfield like you moving up you you understand that you're moving into a higher you can be moving into a higher tax bracket a higher division of your life and division his original album just popped up and so yes like you could be experiencing a lot you could be getting niggas like connected to niggas like niggas connected to niggas and I feel like for you, you like that. The niggas that are connected to niggas and not the niggas that are the niggas. If, if you understand what I mean with that. I just saw another 344 and then 346 H-Town. Because you're getting a lot of insight through the niggas who are connected to the niggas. And not the actual niggas. So whoever these people are, like, you meeting the people that know the people. And you like, yeah, them the ones that you have actually wanted, the ones that you, the ones that are connected, you've wanted them and you about to get them. And this is going to be very random, but that's what you're getting. And they don't give a fuck about like, like if you live in a place like, like, where I'm back at right now, like, they like, oh, I don't give no fucks. I don't give no fucks. 
Like, I want to come see you. I want to come pick you up. Where you at? You gonna get people like that, and they just wanna come through and come see you, come chill with you. But also, like, say you can't ch come chill, they gonna be like, okay, well, where you wanna go? And you can be like, for real? And they're just gonna be like, yeah, I'm coming in like 20 minutes. Get dressed. Or whatever. And then it's like, if you, if they, like, you still getting ready or something by the time they get there, they can be like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna chill until you ready. And it's not like you taking that long, but that's who the type of people that you're interacting with now. I feel like that's a different level, a different caliber. Like to where, I don't know what that means. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I feel like this is a different caliber of nigga for you. Yeah. And I'm trying to let my lingo go, like with calling everybody a nigga, but I can't. I feel like you have been through like some shit lately to where you just like, nah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stay saying what I say and how I say it. I like how I say it. How I say it is how I say it. And so you just going to have to accept it. And so you could just be talking very freely. I mean, on some Leo shit. Talking very freely. Talking very openly in a way where this could be like 40 minutes of me talking. I may start pacing. I don't know why I'm telling y'all this, but I've been doing that lately. Not really pacing, but like getting a lot of steps in, even like in the house. And so you could be like doing that, getting a lot of steps in, getting a lot of workouts in, in a way where you like, what? Why am I working out so much? But it's for a reason, 713 H-Town. It's like for a reason, because you've been needing to do it. And so that's a tower moment for you. I just saw the tower. I think it's for you to get work done, to get your mind right. And you understand this. You understand that the, the things that you've been doing have been to get your mind right. Yeah. You also really don't give a fuck. Like how I got the bathroom open and shit, the light on, the bathroom door open. And I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I live in the hood. And <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying all that, but it's like, you don't give a fuck. Like, you open to talking about whatever. Whenever, whatever. It's like, whatever. Whenever for you. Whatever, whenever. Like, 1818, 18, like, yeah. Nine, nine, like, it's done. Like, I'ma say it. If I wanna say it, I'ma say it. And so you're very much on your shit with that. Like, yeah, I'ma say whatever the fuck I wanna say. And if you don't like it, oh well. Because also people at the same time are listening to you because you're talking so, I wanna say forcefully. I feel like I'm in Leo energy today. And so this reading is going to be very reflective of my life today. That's what I feel like starting from beginning to end and that's a difference which means that I'm back to my Mars and Leo energy and nothing else and I have been waiting for that because in any other energy like Mars and Aries where I can be that shit is destructive I get very destructive and I don't give no fucks that's how I went to jail I guess for the most part because my mouth is rude and I've recently been to jail, like a few times. <laughs> and I'm so serious. For like, for me, it feels like racism for, mo for the most part. Like the first one, racism. 
each time racism. Like racism every single time. So you could be calling out a lot of things and be like, nah, I know what this shit is. Like, if it's racism, I'm saying it's racism. What's up? You can have an advocator in a way where you like, what? Because whoever the person is, they can be removed from the place, like on a great level, but they still advocating for you like behind the scenes. And you may or may not know this or find out about this, but you also might because this could be one of the people. Okay, this could be one of the people that, you know, you talking to or end up talking to. Trina could be very important to your life. Like, I don't know, like her music, like look back at look back at it. That's a significant song in my life. There's a, a few Trina songs, but like that song right there, look back at it, is very much significant to my life. A lot of Kamaya's music is significant to my life. Like whenever, whatever, whenever, whenever, whatever, whenever. Something like that. That's a song by Kamaya. Y'all should go listen to it. That song is the shit. Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups again. Okay, so I feel like there's somebody, one of these people or both, where they really have been like, okay, I really want to talk to them, but I don't know how. And I feel like they like, okay, you've been through a lot, Leo. And so they like, okay, so how do I talk to them? Because I don't know how to talk to them, but I want to talk to them. But I don't know how to talk to them. And so that's what this person has been thinking. It just answered that question just now. God just answered that question just now. Thank you, God. Because that's a question that you've been having. Like, why they not talking to me? Why they acting like that? It's because they, they feel greatly about you. I want to say love, like they love you. They just don't know how to express that. And so they've been like very much, uh, how do I do this? How do I do that? You could have seen celebrities around you or you people could think that you're a celebrity on some very real shit. You could have celebrity. I want to say tendencies, whatever that means. But I feel like you would understand that. And so this person is also looking at you, one of them, as very big. My song Big just popped up, a single, next to No Ceilings, next to Big Crit. With my sub, the original my sub on it. Those are significant. And then royalty. Yeah, you're very royal. You're very, like, very regal, very royal. A very regal royal person. And so because you're a very regal royal person, you're seeking revenge on all those haters. I just released a song called You a Hater. Take Caso. Go listen to it. It's really dope. I really put it together. And so you could be just addressing all of the haters, which is a reading. I think it's a Taurus reading, but I can't remember. I think I'm going to do Taurus after this. You could be understanding a lot about yourself very introspectively in a way where you did not before. And so the way that you're thinking about yourself, it's like very introspectively, like you're thinking about everything, every single thing that you could think about. That's what you think about. You could be co- com- comparing your work to big people and be like, I could beat them. Not be them. I could beat them. 
Like you have a competition with people. Like on my caliber, this is what I'm saying out loud. I feel like I'm up there with Kanye West. I don't know. And that could be a joke. But with my music and the way that I listen to it, like Travis Scott, like my music alone, just my music is like on a level of like Travis Scott. It's on a level of like music back in the day, like a Master P type shit. But like Lil Wayne influence. Big Crit influence, Wiz Khalifa influence, even like some Jasmine Sullivan, SZA type shit, but like be on the level of whatever. And this is something that you know, Leo. Like you know this about yourself. Like whatever you're doing out here, you do it better than other people. You have a life where you understand your beginnings and you see where you're going. And because you see where you're going, Leo, you like, okay. That's why you're so comfortable in your uncomfortable. Queen of Cups. That's why I started off with Queen of Cups and then the Ace of Pentacles. And the high priestess. Because you really understand where you're going. You understand what you're doing. And the high priestess card can represent all signs to me now. Sometimes it can represent like a Sagittarius or a Gemini. Even Leo right now. That's what I'm getting. The high priestess is Leo. Just like the ace of wands is presenting Leo energy to me right now. Leo energy. This card, Six of Wands, is Leo energy. And that Aries energy, which I'm looking at the Nine of Wands, which is a Sagittarius card, but can be looked at right now in my eyes as a Aries energy. So Aries energy really puts you through some shit, which can represent Satan. So Satanist energy really fucked you up in whatever ways and so you really had to like beat satan excuse me oh my gosh like satanic people satanic things just satan as a whole i don't know what that means for you as far as satan but like spiritual warfare you have beat it and so congratulations because you have beat spiritual warfare. And I think that that's something that, whether you know those terms or not, you've understood that you've been through some shit. I also feel like this reading is going to be bigger than what I think. Like, in terms of whatever. I don't know. But the world card, yes. I feel like this reading is very much introspective on a level of me but also on a level of you as you're watching. And I also feel like this reading is very, it's presenting very much in a way where you can understand it greatly. So whatever you understand greatly as far as in your life, you really understand what you're doing how you're doing it, and where you're going. And you have no, I want to say harboring feelings toward anybody or anything. Like you are greatly free from evil. You're free from evil, Leo. Yes, you're free from evil. And that makes me smile. I can't smile fully right now. I can, but it's like, like how it's like you're on some chill fun and stuff like that. Yeah. At the beginning, 29, 29, you're finally back to a place where you can understand your life and understand it so greatly where you like, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. 
I don't need you to tell me what's up. But you also might get people that are helping you. A lot of people greatly. In ways where you're like, wow, thank you so much for that help. I really appreciate you. And this has been growing. You're really going to see how people are helping you in more ways than you think. Over the next two weeks, something is going to happen that's on a great scale. You could be moving in two weeks. You could be uh, starting to prepare for another living situation right now. And then your move-in date is like two weeks from now or something. Yeah. You could be wanting to clean. Even if you don't have like a lot to clean. You could be cleaning a lot. And that could be your brain. Like your mind could be cleaning itself. And has been cleaning itself. Yeah, through Aries energy. It has just presented itself in ways where on Libra energy, you've been like, what the fuck is this? Why am I going through this? But God has protected you and your brain greatly. Five of Wands from a big fight that could have been bigger than what it was. Yeah. I just needed to do that real quick. While the music was playing, whether you heard it or not. Go listen to some Take Hot Soul, Leo. I think that I will greatly surprise you. In the way that I... Okay, this is ending message. So, Leo, you could greatly surprise people with like for them it might seem like alter egos like that's how you can present like you have an alter ego that people don't know about and this is reminding me of some scorpio you're hit revealing your hidden self that's a reading and you could be like greatly like Revealing yourself in a way where people are like, huh, I didn't know that you was like that. I didn't know that you talk like that. I didn't know that you acted like that. I didn't know that that's how you were. But for them, it's like, interesting. Reminding me of another Scorpio reading, interesting interactions. Yeah. And they could just be like in awe of the fact that you are who you are and how you are. And that's nothing on you. That's nothing on them. They really enjoy it. They really enjoy who you are and how you are. They enjoy the work that you put in. They enjoy that you are you. And they really like want to tell you that. So that's on these people that are coming your way. And so that is the end of the reading. So I love y'all. I appreciate you. I thank you for coming through. Remember, nigga is for niggas. This reading, I feel like flowed. Yeah. Okay. Almost like I was freestyling, but not. Like, I make freestyle music, if you didn't know. Like, I don't write anything. I just let it. I just get on the beat and I make all my beats. So, yeah, I feel like with that, with me just saying that and looking to the side, like, I really wanted to say that, but I also didn't. Like, 
three four four like I don't want to see your reaction to me saying all of that like like almost like whenever there's this Missy Elliott video because uh the super duper where she got the rain rain on there um like I can't stand the rain like there's a behind the scenes video about her talking about how I think it was Mary J. Blige and Lil' Kim, but I think it was just Mary J. Blige who like helped her get onto the stage. And so you could have had somebody in your life who represents like a celebrity or something to you, or they are a celebrity in your life or not in your life, but somebody who has gotten you prepared for the life that you're about to live, whatever that means for you, because God really got big plans, 757, big plans, like super big plans on like level of plane where you could be taking flights, you could be taking trips, people could want to fly you out to wherever the fuck you are, like you could hit up somebody so randomly to where they like, I like this conversation so much to where I want to fly you out to where I am. Where are you? And you be like, what? And they so serious. Like, they serious as shit. Like, they like, I want to fly you out to where I am. And so it's like a surprise, chill luxury. Chill, chill, surprise, chill luxury. Which is a reading. Another Scorpio reading. Scorpio has really been helping you. And I feel like for me... I had to realize a lot through Scorpio energy and Scorpio that Scorpio is really a helper and not a herder. And Scorpios really be there in a lot more ways than like Scorpio people be there in a lot more ways than you would know. In in a lot of ways, like the Scorpio people in your life. You could really think back and be like, we was there with, with it. We were, we've been through whatever. The Scorpio people that you know, they could greatly resemble your life. Like y'all's lives match. And I feel like you're understanding that now in a way where it took a while for you to understand this. But now you get it. Now you can see it. Now it's real. 37, 37. And <sighs> I don't know, but I am going to leave it there now. It feels done now. All right. I love y'all. I appreciate you. I thank you for coming through. Remember, niggas for niggas. Check the description box, y'all. Bye.